Hey everybody, this is Cliff Ravenscraft and I am doing a very brief video demo on how to replace a file on Libsyn. So the very first thing I want to do here is re just record a sample audio and what I am going to do is uh, hit record here and click OK. This is a sample recording. One, two, three, three, four, five. All right, now what I did here is I purposely said the number three two times. And what I'm gonna do here is I am going to save this as test only one, two, three, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit okay, and that's just gonna save it down to the desktop. All right, so we're gonna move that out of the way, and we are gonna go in here and uh, sign into Lipson, and let me just show you what that would look like if we signed into the dashboard here. I'm currently signed into my Generally Speaking account. I'm gonna go ahead and click Publish, File for Download Only, right over here, and I'm gonna click on my hard drive to find the file that I wanna upload, which is testonly123.mp3. I'm gonna click Open, and I'm gonna click Publish. All right, so it's gonna publish this episode online. There we go. All righty, and so there it is. I'm gonna click Back to Posts, and I'm gonna hover over the links, get the direct download URL, copy that, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to my uh, old Pursuing a Balanced Life website that I had, and I'm gonna move this old episode here to the trash, and I'm gonna create a new episode. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click Add New, 000, please ignore. This is only a test. All right, so I'm gonna go down here and put, you know, the show notes would be here. Okay, and then in my media URL box, I'm gonna go ahead and paste the link to the MP3 file that's on Libsyn, click verify, put it in podcast episodes and click publish. All right, as soon as I do this, I'm going to go to my home website here and I'm gonna click play and this is what we have. This is a sample recording, one, two, three, three, four, five. All right, let's pretend that this has been out now for about five or six hours. A couple hundred people have already downloaded this episode, and all of a sudden somebody says, hey, did you know that you said the number three twice? Ah, oh, man, and you know what? You don't want to force everybody to re-download the whole thing again with it with it having, you know, with, with just the fixing of that error, but you want to make sure that anybody that downloads it into the future uh, is not does not have to put up with whatever it is that you found that you you want to fix. So if I go back in here, this is a sample recording. One, two, three, three, four. All right. So I'm just going to take out one of the threes here. So here's where four is. I'm going to go right here, and now it should say one, two, three, four, five. All right. And so now we've got that fixed. I'm going to go ahead and just hit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now what that does is it saves this, the important thing is we have to say, have the exact same file name as we did before. All right, so we're gonna go back to Libsyn and we do not wanna upload a new episode. We wanna go here to testonly.mp3 and we wanna click edit, okay? Okay, and so once you have this loaded up, you click on the hard drive here and you wanna scroll down to testonly.mp3, testonly again, the same exact file name and it says, do you want to replace the existing file? And you click OK. And there you go. Now it says awaiting upload. And we're going to click publish. And that that is done. It's complete. So now if I go back over here and I hit refresh on ravenscraft.org. And now if I hit here, it should play this episode without three being on there twice. This is a sample recording. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. I just fixed it. I didn't even have to fix anything over on the website because the original file is what has been corrected. All right, so again, that's how you would replace a file if you need to do so. And uh, this would keep people from having to up or re-download an entirely new episode. Now, if you wanted to force everybody, I mean, literally force everybody to get a new episode, then what you would do, of course, is you would just go ahead and delete the file, the, the post that you already had. And what I would do is uh, move that to trash. And then you would go ahead and click Add New. And then do 
zero 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 uh test only whatever same thing and then put um you know my episode and then i would put republished you know or something that communicates to people that this is new because the people who have already downloaded this when they get this new episode uh it's actually going to have it's actually going to have um they're going to have two episodes they're going to see you know let's just say this was episode 125 for example so they're going to see 125 on there twice and if you have the word republished in there it'll let them know it's like oh he must have fixed something from the original one all right so you just go ahead and do that and that way when people see this it's they they know that it's been republished so that's how i that's how you force a new episode out or you could uh, go in and like i said you just to replace you simply go uh, you would actually come into Libsyn, all right, and you would click on Publish. You would go to Previous Posts right here, all right, Previous Posts, and then you look for the file that you want to replace, and you just click Edit. Click on that hard drive, all right, go and find the file right there. It's got to be the exact same file name. You click Open, and it says, do you want to replace? You hit Yes, and you hit Publish, and boom, it replaces it. So that's how you would do it. Now, for those of you who use um, the FTP, I'm just going to show you this real quickly here as well, and uh, just to show you that it it works. In fact, that this is being queued up right now, and I'm just going to show you. If, if this I this is a sample recording, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so there it is. And just to show you how I can do this via FTP real quickly, since I'm here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to Adobe Audition, and I'm going to put. This is a sample recording, one, and I'm going to get rid of two, and I'm going to get rid of four. All right, so it's actually going to just skip all the even numbers there, so check this out. This is a sample recording, one, three, five. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and so that's, that's again, keeping the same file name. Now, I'm going to bring this over here where you can see the file on my desktop since uh, we're going to do this via FTP. I'm going to uh, open up my FTP program of choice. Personally, it's called CyberDuck. You can use any FTP program. If you're not familiar with how to do FTP, you can just do this all via the web as I demonstrated earlier. All right, FTP has now loaded up here. And uh, let me go ahead and go into my Libsyn 3 account. And I happen to know that I installed this into my generally speaking. I have multiple accounts. So, um, you know, I, I'm just going to double click here on my Libsyn 3 hosting account. Uh, and then I'm going to go to generally speaking. Now, normally, if I was going to upload a brand new episode, I would upload this into my public folder, all right, into my public folder. But now, because I want to just quickly overwrite an episode. Now, if you put this in the public folder, you got a problem uh, because you've already got a file with that, that name and it'll, it will reject it. You put it in the Dropbox folder right like this. So I'm in generally speaking slash Dropbox. And now I just drag and drop that file over there and it uploads it. In fact, it's already uploaded. Okay. Now I am going to go back to my website right here. I am going to refresh and now I'm going to play this. This is a sample recording. One, three, five. All right, so I just showed you two different ways you can replace a file without having everybody who subscribed to your podcast get the recording a second time to confuse them. Hopefully, this has been a great help to you. If you want more tips, tricks, and help on how to accomplish things with your podcast and help take it to the next level, I hope that you'll uh, check out the rest of the stuff I got here at podcastanswerman.com. God bless you all. Have a great week. Bye-bye.